A somber mood engulfed Kingwambiti village in Barry North Sub County during the burial of a government staff and his mother who died in Nairobi over COVID related ailments. Dr. Patricia Wawiranjuki died at the Nairobi Hospital on March 13, barely a day after the mother Catherine Guginjuki, who had died on the March 12th this year. Before her death, the 47 year old Wawiranjuki worked as the National Project Development and Policy Officer, died hours after penning down a heart moving eulogy. Little did she know she was to succumb also to the deadly virus, which has so far claimed thousands of lives across the globe. And this is what Patricia said. Thank you all for joining. Mom loved you all as we loved her. Somehow, I have so much peace. Because mom was always praying. Her death now being paired to that of her mother, their final send-off. The two were eulogized as caring and loving. And the COVID-19 had robbed the family of two important people. Thank you for blessing me with a wonderful wife who takes after you. Gimayu Magamotwine. I believe even her tribute is a testament to this. We have great memories of our travels together. The last one being to Uganda for Winnie's and Paul's wedding reception in December of 2020. Patricia loved her family deeply. Both her immediate and extended family experienced her warmth. Um, more than a decade of good memories and love among us and our dear grandmother. Shoshua Catherine knows many things to various people. Our daughter a sister, a wife, a mother. Dan Kamboy, the MCA of Rory Award in Embu County, who was also in attendance, has now called upon the government to sensitize the public on the COVID-19 vaccine and its rules. First thing I want to say is, uh, uh, as my brother said, Corona is real. I don't want to, want to ask our communities, let us be very careful. Unapotembea hata ninashangaa saa zingine unaenda kusalimia mtu hivi unasikia na kuambia bana ni shiki mkono hakuna corona watu wetu tunataka tuambie corona iko na ni ya ukweli sasa dawa imekuja na kitu tunaona kwa social media tuko natumiwa hata madaktari wengine ambayo wanaongea kizungu mingi wanasema hiyo dawa sio safe wengine wanasema wametumiwa kutoka Amerika ile dawa sio safe na fikiria itapindi sasa Pia serikali tufanya kitu inaitua civic education. Ndiyo watu yetu waweze kuamini ya kwamba ile dawa ni safe na inaweza kusuhia maabukizi ya corona. Wawira has been survived by his husband and children. Milo Kisenyo for Ebru TV.